，中国小伙被打跪地，狂吐血。所有人都以为他必输无疑，却没有想到他转过身，只用一个恐怖肘击，就直接 KO 了对手。现在的这个被打吐血的选手，他就是咱们中国的选手王腾跃。不管你之前知不知道他，只要看过他的训练和肘击的人，就能明白王腾跃他的肘击有多恐怖。其实，在我们国内格斗界，人才辈出。王腾跃在国内打的比赛不多，没什么名气，他大部分时间是活跃在泰国拳坛。在泰拳的擂台上，最重要的不只是击打能力，而是练就一身钢筋铁骨，因为还得扛揍，不扛揍还敢上台的人，很大几率会被眼冒金星，不是倒地就是睡着。王腾跃靠着擂台硬扛，练的一身好体格，被对手打趴下他就站起来，再一次打趴下他就再一次站起来。终于，皇天不负苦心人。2017年5月28日，王腾跃作为比赛唯一中国选手，要与三个不同国家的选手争夺68公斤级泰拳世界冠军这是一场四人冠军赛，而在刚开始，王腾跃就主动发起进攻。这一次，他的对手是这位来自法国的泰拳手瓦伦丁。瓦伦丁身高条件极其优秀，泰拳八大武器他也练得炉火纯青，拳腿、膝肘全都是 KO 利器。王腾跃都被他打得后退几步瓦伦汀比起腿法来，更喜欢近身拼拳，一顿左右摆拳打得王腾跃缩进围城边缘。瓦伦汀接上袭击。Yeah, it's always tough when you have an aggressive fighter like Wang come out right from the opening bell, just swinging wild and trying to land those heavy punches. Yeah, you have to be careful. You don't get drawn into a fight with them, drawn into a brawl, because you can end up、uh, wearing yourself out that way. Definitely、uh, gone about it the right way, Sol. Valentino, 虽然更喜欢拳法进攻，但是更明白腿法和袭击在比赛里发挥的优势。Valentino 手长脚长的，王腾跃看起来不占优势啊。Very few kicks in this fight. Big knee there from Valentine. Wang is just mainly primarily from punches and elbows. See him starting to slow down now up on the back, on the back on the ropes. Yeah, like I said before, he leads his head up a little bit as well. Yeah. 比赛都要结束了，瓦伦丁一顿摆拳上头，招招命中，打了两拳，接上膝盖顶腹部，王腾跃哼都没哼一声。Well now, putting them together beautifully here. End of round one. 比赛终于结束了。Let me see Wang Pengyu in the blue corner, representing China. You look on top there. Bang with some big punches and elbows, solid knees. Him there, but that left at the start of the round, Wang. But it didn't take long for Valentin to work him out, start picking him off. 第二回合开始，王腾跃顶着伤再次上场。瓦伦汀主动进攻，开始发挥出自己的腿法优势。Yeah. 
still. Firing away though, Wang here. Determined to try and get something from this fight. Oh, beautiful <laughs> elbow for Valentine. But solid right hand back there though from the Chinese fighter. See Valentine loading up with those knees now, piercing that midsection. Wang Teng Yue 被对手的连续击中，击倒独秒。好，王腾岳半跪脱鞋，一滴两滴。没有时间，伤春悲秋。王腾岳示意裁判自己还能打。比赛再次开始，王腾岳却惊艳所有人，一记转身铁整，直接击倒了法国的瓦伦丁。对手浑身僵直。使尽了全身力气挣扎，但是王腾岳那一肘太重了，直到裁判读秒结束，他也没有成功站起身来。王腾岳是怎么就瞬间逆转局面呢？来，慢放走一波。王腾岳被击倒，没有立马站起来，而是利用裁判读秒缓了一口气。王腾岳调整好身体，起身后打法更是高超。他先是前轴虚晃，给出假动作迷惑对手，然后步伐紧跟腿后，给对手重创一记转身铁肘，这才直接 KO 了他。这一记肘击，马伦丁输的不亏呀、啊！大家觉得王腾岳打得酷吗？觉得酷就把酷打在评论区吧。这里是拳击对对碰，我们下一次再会。